to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Shelley Wordsworth. Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Good. Right. Midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down. The stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello. I'm Shelley Wordsworth, magical maker of stories. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's have some fun. Yes, Sam. Hey. You're so untidy. Uh, what are you doing, Jackson? I'm tidying up after you. Uh, what are you doing? I'm playing skiffles. It's supposed to be untidy. Skiffles? What sort of a game is that? Well, you have to roll the ball hmm, to knock down the skiffles like this. Yes, Sam! Oh, stop it, Jelly. You're making the library untidy. Uh, what will Shelley say? Oh, don't know, Jaxie. Oh. What will I say? Uh, you should say, he's spoiling my skiffles. Oh, I'm only trying to keep things tidy. Oh, relax, my pair of fluff balls. <laughs> now, you are a treasure for keeping things tidy, Jaxie. <laughs> but <laughs> it's all part of the game, knocking down skittles. <laughs> Shelley! <laughs> What have you got on your feet? <laughs> oh, these? Mm. They're bowling shoes. Shoes oh. for bowling? Mm -hmm. That's mm. right. Bippity bop bowling shoes. Mm. Uh, what's bowling? Well, mm. it's like Skittles, really. Just oh. big Skittles. Oh. And the ball is much heavier than this one. <laughs> mm. And you have to wear funny shoes for bowling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all part of the fun. Mm. Can I have a go? Oh, yes, please! Yes! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right. I'm going for a strike. Oh. A strike? What's that? Well, it's when you knock down all the Skittles in one go. They call that a strike. Oh. And then I have to tidy them up. <laughs> I think I'm on strike. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but I'm not going to use this ball. Oh. I'm going to use this one. <laughs> oh, Shelley, you've changed the rules. Mm. Right, here we go. Oh! oh yes! A right. That's it. I'm off. Oh, come on, Jaxie. Why don't you use one of the Skittles to make a story? Yes, a story! Oh, all right, then. Yay! <laughs> One skittle for a story. Now, I need your help. We need lots of imagination to make a tidy story. Hmm. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Oh, it's a playbook. And it's called Time for a Strike. I wonder how many pins will fall when I roll my bowling ball. Come with me to the bowling alley and see. Amongst the amazing flashing lights, the long lanes wait. I wonder how many pins will fall when I roll my bowling ball. But before I start, there's something I must do. 
You see, I can't go bowling in these shoes. Ah, these look like they'll do the trick. Come on, everybody. I'm ready to bowl. This is the lane, and there are the pins. Our names are on the scoreboard, and it's time to begin. Mum rolls a ball. And lots of pins fall. Well done, Mum! Now it's Vespa's turn. I wonder how many pins will fall when Vespa rolls the bowling ball. There are ten standing straight. She bowls the ball and knocks down... Ah! Eight! Wow! That's great! Only two left. It's my turn now and I'm going to do my best. I am the smallest, don't forget. I give the ball a push and watch it spin over and over until it knocks down six pins. Amazing! <laughs> that just leaves four. Come on, Vespa. Let's bowl some more. Let's roll the balls with all our might until there are no pins left to strike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> it was just like my skiffers. Oh, yes, yeah, mm. quite like them, greeny mm. queeny. <laughs> yeah, except I haven't got funny shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Hi, Jack. Oh, oh, don't make me jump. Oh, Jackson, what are you doing? I'm trying to keep this ball on the spoon. Oh. Why? Because I like tidy games. Oh, and not knockity downy no. games. Like skiffles. Yeah. Yes, like skittles. <laughs> With my game, you won't have to tidy up after. All right. Oh, can I have a go? Uh, oh, I know. Why don't you two have a race? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll race you around the library and finish at the story machine. OK. Mm. Yeah, and I'll stay here mm. and make sure there's no cheating. Mm. Like how? Well, like one of you holding onto your ball. Mm. Uh, OK, OK, you start us off then, Jelly. Yeah, yes? OK. <clears throat> Ready? Yes. yes. Steady? Mm. Yes. Go! OK. <laughs> Uh, Shelly, I said go. Yes, I know, but I'm so good at this game. I'm going to give him a head start. Oh. OK. I'm the winner! I'm the winner! Well, Shelly, it looks like Jackson's the winner. Yes, I know, I know. I could at least use my spoon, though, to make a story. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. One spoon for a story. Now, you know what else we need, don't you? Imagination. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. Oh, it's a sniff and wag story. And it's called the Egg and Spoon Race. <laughs> sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. Tonight the dogs are very excited. A friend from far away has come to play in the park. Her name is Sparkle. And when she's at home on the farm, she does an important job, keeping the sheep together so they don't get lost. Sparkle rounds up Sniff and Wag. When they stray, she brings them back. <gasps> come by, come by, me lovelies, she woofs. <laughs> I think Sparkle's missing her sheep. Sniff isn't listening. He sees something glistening in the grass. Look, three spoons, one each. I know a game to play with spoons. But we need some eggs. Wag knows where there's a nest. In the tall, tall rushes sits a nest all snug with three little eggs inside, tucked up. 
Let's all grab one. With Sparkle. The three dogs are going to have an egg and spoon race. We'll race to the nearest tree, Bart Sniff. Ready? Steady? Go! Yippee! Whipple, wobble, tipple, topple. Sniff's just in front and Sparkle's catching up. But Wag is taking too long. <gasps> What's gone wrong? Her egg is cracking open and... Horror, horror, an angry goose is chasing her. Hey, you! Bring back my eggs or I'll give you a peck. Sniff and Sparkle's eggs are cracking too. Quick, quick, my goslings are hatching, honks the goose. Soon, there are three little goslings running loose. Oh, if they get lost, they might get caught by a fox. Quick, Sniff, hurry, wag, woof Sparkle. Help me bring them back. Come by, come by, me lovelies. Three little dogs in a flurry of feathers bring three little goslings back to their mother. Ah, ah, ah. All right then, my lovelies, time to go back to the farm. Come and visit me sometime. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we will play again. <laughs> Naughty Sniff and Wag <laughs> taking those eggs. Mm. Mm. I'm glad they didn't have them for breakfast. Mm. <laughs> you know what? What? Jelly's very quiet. Oh, yes. Mm. That's nice. <laughs> I wonder what she's up to. Mm. Oh, they're so pretty. So, so sparkly. Oh, wow. Oh, Jelly. Jelly, what have you found? <gasps> Oh, yeah, these, they're little balls. Mm. Yeah. Oh, they're marbles. I haven't seen these for a long time. Oh. Oh. See, see, Jackson, they're marbles. Yes, yeah. yes. So, Jelly, what do you do with them? Uh, hmm? Well, they're too small to knock over skittles. Mm. Or mm. even skittles. Oh. Mm. Uh, and they're too small for the spoon balancing game. Oh, no, 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 no. You roll them. Oh. And if you touch another one with it, then you win. Oh. Like this. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh, I love them! They're so see-through! Oh, well, mm. then you should have one, Jelly. Oh, oh, yeah. But you won that one, Shelly. Oh, oh. Yeah. But, but Shelly, mm. can Jackson and I borrow it to make a story? Oh, oh yes. a fantabulous idea, my green queen! Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> one marble for the story machine. And lots and lots of your imagination. Hmm. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Marbles. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow saw a lovely stone that looked like a tiny, shiny ball. I wonder what it would be like to see lots of shiny balls. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can see some shiny balls, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the jungle. And then they arrived. 
When Blue Cow got off the bus, she couldn't believe her eyes. She was surrounded by tall trees filled with brightly coloured birds. Close by, a group of animals were playing with some tiny shiny balls, while a grumpy-looking lion sat on a throne watching them. Excuse me, what are you doing? Blue Cow asked an elephant. We are playing marbles to entertain the king, said the elephant, flicking a tiny shiny ball with his trunk. Ooh, it looks fun, giggled Blue Cow. Would you like to play too? The elephant asked. You can have some of my marbles, he said, and gave Blue Cow a little pile of the tiny shiny glass marbles. Ooh, marvellous, said Blue Cow, flicking a beautiful blue marble with her hoof. It shot through an arch with the number four on it. Wow, you've scored four points, the elephant giggled. <laughs> At that moment, a gorilla hit a huge gong. The king is going to speak, whispered the elephant. The king stood up. He let out a huge sigh. <sighs> this game of marbles is very boring, 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 boring. Someone tell me how I can have fun. Blue Cow trotted forward. She'd had an idea. I know! But just then she slipped on her pile of marbles. She went into a spin. The elephant trundled up to help her, but he slipped too. Blue Cow slipped and slid and started skating on the marbles. The elephant copied Blue Cow, and soon all the other animals joined in, spinning and skating on the marbles. The king let out an enormous roar of laughter. I wish marbles were always this much fun. They're even more fun when you join in, said Blue Cow, flicking a purple marble with her hoof. Splendid idea, roared the king. Who's going to give me some marbles? He leapt off his throne and joined in the game. It was the best fun ever. Oh, yes. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been playing marbles with a king. Everyone knows that cows can't play marbles, but we know they can, don't we? <laughs> oh, that was a, a silly Billy Moo story. <laughs> oh, I love Blue Cow mm. because she's a magic. Yes. Oh, come on, little friends. The sun's coming up. The time for all story makers to disappear before the morning. <laughs> Dawn is upon us and the morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. 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 <laughs> story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, fabulous stories of fun. Thanks for helping us. Goodbye. Bye, story makers. Come back to the library again soon. Story makers, story makers.